Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, my name is Said Shah and in this video I will be demonstrating how to create an iSCSI target on a CentOS Linux 7.3 system and we will connect to this target through a Microsoft iSCSI initiator. The CentOS server that we, we will be using is a minimal installation so it only has the CLI available to configure and install packages. We don't have the graphics GUI with it. So let us start firstly by connecting to the CentOS 7 iSCSI target server that we're going to be setting up. So I already have that installed uh, putty. SSH client and I will log in as the root account. Once logged in, firstly, we need to install the target CLI package. We simply do that by typing yum install target CLI. There's a number of dependencies which we'll accept. Once that's installed, we need to start the daemon systemctl start target. And to ensure that this starts up at boot time, we pass the command systemctl enable target i'll increase the size of my cli window so it's a bit more clear next we need to open up a firewall exception for port 3260 tcp and we'll do that using the firewall cmd command Okay, I've got an error here. It's supposed to be firewall CMD. Okay, that's accepted. Now we reload the firewall. Right, so now we've got the target daemon running and we have an exception in the firewall for port 3260 now we can continue and uh, set up the iSCSI targets. So type target target CLI at the command line. Hit enter and that will take you in to the interface for setting up the target. In this example, I'll be creating a file based image so the syntax for this is backstores file io and create give it a name we can choose a name which is uh, helpful for us in our purposes i will use sql01 disk one as mine and i will put it in a folder in the root of my file system, which I am calling iSCSI files, and I will give it the same name. And I, I will give it a 10 GB size and write back to false. I have an error here because I I don't have this folder that I've called iSCSI files. So if I exit out of here, back into bash command line, 
I will create a folder here mkdir forward slash iSCSI files. So now I can go back to target CLI and I can run that command again and it has created that. So now we have our file. Next, we need to create the iSCSI target. So just type iSCSI and create. And that's created the iSCSI target. If we want to have a look at the iSCSI target, we simply pass the ls command and we can see our iSCSI name. At this stage, it is not mapped to any LUNs and it doesn't have any ACLs. That is our next, next task. So from here, if what we can do is we type the IQN and hit tab, which is the name of the iSCSI target. If you simply type IQN at the, and press tab, that will fully populate the, the name, uh, it saves making errors. And then after the forward slash type TPG1 and hit enter. And here we will create the LUN and map it. So what we do here is type LUNS LUNs forward slash create. And we give it the location of the file mine was forward slash backstores forward slash file io forward slash sql01 disk one your location will be different so make sure that you have the correct location specified here hit enter and i have my lun zero created if we pass the ls command again this time we can see that we have one LUN mapped and it points to the file. Next, what we need to do is we need to allow the host, uh, the, the, sorry, not the host, the client, the iSCSI initiator client from the Windows machine to have access to this LUN. And the way we will do this is we, firstly, we need to connect to the Windows client. So I'm just going to run the remote desktop client and I will connect to my Windows 10 workstation. I will log on using RDP. And I will go into the control panel, into administrative tools, and we have the iSCSI initiator here. I have these from a previous run, so I'll just quickly remove these. Once these are removed, I will go to the configuration tab your iSCSI initiator properties will probably be blank like this when you first start it up. You may even get a pop up uh, when you when you when you double click this iSCSI initiator, you'll get a pop up that the service is not started. That's the default behavior. And you click yes to start the, the service. At this stage, what I want to do is go into this configuration tab and I will copy this initiator name as we, we need to go over to the iSCSI target and allow access to this iSCSI initiator. So I will minimize my session to the workstation, Windows 10 workstation. And over here at the CLI, uh, I will type ACLS forward slash to go into the ACLs. And over here, I will create a mapping in the ACL to allow access to this initiator. So simply type create, followed by pasting in the initiator name, 
hit enter and it's created a node ACL for this initiator and it's mapped to learn. So at this stage, what I need to do is I will, I will go back CD space forward slash and I will save config. Now that that's saved, I can exit. Once ex exit is done and back at the CLI bash prompt, I will clear my screen and I will type AP, IP ADDR to get the IP address. And I have the IP address here is 192.168.1.138. Your IP address will obviously be different. Uh, this is, I need this IP address so I can type this in at the initiator. So I'm going to RDP back to my Windows 10 workstation and I will add this portal in the discover, discovery. Huh? Paste the IP, click OK. I'm going to targets, refresh. Okay, so it looks like it's already pick that one up. So at this stage, I simply want to highlight that and click connect and it's connected. If I want to look at how many disks are presented, there's only one. So I can click OK, come out of here. And if I go into my computer management on the Windows 10 workstation and disk management, I should see my disk. I have a disk here and it's 10 gig. So it looks like the same disk. And I can create a simple volume and format that. I'll call it iSCSI disk. And it looks like this is available now. Close out of here. I go back. So this demonstrates how you can connect an iSCSI target, which is on a CentOS Linux 7.3. So we've set this, we've set the target up. Uh, we've given it disks and size and exported a LUN and connected it via Windows iSCSI initiator. So I hope this be, has been ha helpful for you and uh, subscribe and like the video for future videos. Thank you.